Hello people, welcome! This is episode 58 and I am not in my usual place. You can see here I've cleared quite a big chunk of, uh, of land. I've used a filler so you don't miss much. And then I light a more a sequence for, the, for another filler to place a layer of... Uh, well... What was the name? I always forget. Basalt on the floor. I've placed here a chunk loading block because of uh, the F9 option. So here I can see the the chunks the same way I can see them on my on my screen. Now, if I were to use um, <clears throat> a, one of the seals of uh, Thumbcraft to keep a 5x5 area loaded, it would take uh, approximately all the chunks this, uh, this area is, is touching, plus one of the... <coughs> uh, the one of the, one or two of the sides. Uh, for example, one a row of uh, chunks to the right of the screen, which means uh, to the east. However, I am not going to do that, at least for now, because I plan to make the my base here a 2x3 chunk uh, base. That's the reason I am using the chunk loader block in there. So, I, uh, essentially, the chunks you see in right blue, not the ones in dark blue here, are the ones that I will place my base upon. Uh, what else? Well, these are all the stuff that I got from from cleaning this area. Well, a little less because the basalt I crafted with the clean star it was faster than way that way. And I am now going to get my hands on some wood because it's the faster way to make the well to to uh, mark if you want to leave uh, something on the ground. And what do I mean by that? Well, I am going to get my hands on all these wooden planks first and then I am going to make a... one, two... Uh, no, I didn't want to make that one, but I'll leave it uh, for now because in fact we need to be in there okay so one two three four five okay five high five high we're now going to get our landmark and place it in here and now we're going to here do the same Five high, mark. Mm, let me make sure we're on the right spot. One, two, three, four, five. And it should be connected. Perfect. Now the next one. If you're wondering uh, what is going to happen to the floor, once I finish building, well, I plan to fill it with lava. So, mob spawning under my base won't be a problem. Three, four, and five. Of course, that will have the small problem of me needing to, well, expand upwards. I can live with that, certainly. Not the, it's not the first time I do uh, I do it. So let's get our filler here. And in case you're wondering, yes, I do plan to make uh, all this on <coughs> on more of our ah I always forget the name basalt. Why is that? Well, uh, leaving aside all the practical reasons, meaning explosion resistance and the like, 
it's essentially because uh, I've been lately reading uh, another part of a uh, book series I liked uh, some years ago. You might know of it. It's the Dragaera series by... What was the author's name? Ray Brad... No, uh, sorry. Second. Stephen Brast is the author. It worked uh, it work, uh, on several books and uh, two series to be precise. One of them, the Blast Alto series, is the one I'm reading now. But uh, the one I started with was the Cavern Romances, which, which was uh, an, a homage to the Three Musketeers, which I liked. So, well, it was like, hey, let's try this one too. And, well, uh, there's one place in that uh, described in those books, which is kind of um, impressive. Well, not impressive, but uh, interesting. Uh, and it's called Castle Black. Castle Black is a floating castle. Well, we're talking about some high fantasy world in here. I mean, resurrection is uh, possible. Sometimes a little difficult, but uh, and it can't be prevented using special weapons, damaging the brain, uh, or making you unable to be resurrected for three days. But uh, essentially, that's it. I mean, there's no way to to do other stuff like but that. And, well, that's essentially the core of, of the series. It's a high fantasy setting, and uh, I like it. Um, I decide to make uh, my own small castle black, so to speak. I know it won't be even closer to the, to the depictions of the original one. First, I can host a 24 uh, 5. They have five, five days, weeks there. A party, nor, the, nor can I have uh, servants and the like, but uh, I'll manage to do something. And I'm out of basalt. Now am I. Hmm. Well, saplings should uh, be enough. This is a small trick. It's a. Uh, <clears throat> if we place the clean star sphere, as usual, we get the top we can get. But if we place a low tier item, of course, I was floating around. <laughs> and I'm try, I try to get uh, to go down. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Arrows, maybe. Yep. Okay. And, of course, I didn't want to have all that. Perfect. Now I have all the basalt I want. Anyway, I remember I started uh, reading those books about uh, five years ago, was it? Yes, when my brother started uh, studying medicine, so well, like that, more or less. And uh, the castle is black because it's a relationship with magic. In this case, it will be more or less the same. As for how I, do I plan to fill this with lava, I believe the best uh, I can do is to ask Lorams for help. So I suppose we will, in the end, give some use to all those, uh, well, to these little things we we made uh, before and ended uh, not using the grates. We're going to use the grate to deposit uh, lava, which we are going to create using. Uh, one of our, I believe I have another one on my base, or Vulcanite amulets, and then fill all the down there with lava. Not all, however. I plan to add uh, some sort of uh, 
bridge uh, mechanism using uh, not pistons but uh, our usual assortment of uh, frames but uh, well I need to decide if I if I want uh, the bridge to extend or to go well or to search from below I'll decide later and if I want to expand my base I can always well go in this direction clear more area and expand uh, one entire row of uh, <coughs> of chunks my base and I run out of uh, basalt I bet hey I remember it this time yep yeah I did so we'll create more basalt and after that we can start uh, making stuff Oh, and by the way, for now I am going to avoid uh, building anything that can be considered... I wasn't going to say too fancy, but uh, complicated. So, Basalt will be, for now, my only concession for complicated items uh, that might have some sort of problem with uh, if I update my game. And by the way, I really do miss most creatures. Okay, give me the bricks. I can break you. Here and here, perfect. Oh, and in case you're wondering, my main uh, teleporting system is around here. You can see it it's there my jungle base so to speak here it is I need to play some I need to play some uh, oh and I added here a teleporting system I don't know why oh yes I know why I have this in here anyway uh, I place another seal inside of my house for quick access. Ta -da! Another small change I made in my base. You can see here I made a slab stair using Red Power 2. It's not perfect because I wasn't able to expand uh, completely into this area, but uh, I believe it's pervy enough. <clears throat> and I also restarted my nuclear reactor, so I should uh, send this fella on its way. Another thing I want to do, you can see I've disabled my little system in here and replaced the glowstone with a red power to lamp. Uh, I just uh, will start with uh, whoa <laughs> with the crossbreeding of uh, Industrial Craft 2. Oh, and by the way, I should have a look at here because I believe I left the Thomic duplicator with some gold. Yes, here, work. Uh, in between episodes, I made here, you can see a small plantation. It is in the middle with uh, some slabs. You can see if you force your sight a little, there's water under... Well, no, not slabs, just covers. And uh, what we need to d for this to work is uh, to get some sticks and place them I believe it was like this no I think I'm going to need my portable crafting table so my philosopher's stone and let me think for a second 
Yes, it was like this. It was like this. Okay. Now, uh, as you know, it's a little boring to keep going away, keeping this uh, clean from pests and the like. Fortunately, there are ways to avoid that. But uh, first, see? We just got some bad herbs. I'll solve that in a moment. Oh, a little mistake on my part. To solve that, we are going to need, and I know I left that uh, gate open, don't worry, I will go back before we notice. I think I will be left in this door open. And there's some monster drop around. Now I only need to find it. If I remember where I place it. Or, uh, well, I'll ask for it. It's stored uh, somewhere, so I can just uh, request it. And let me think for a second where it is. Because I don't even remember the item ID, which I believe it's the main sorting system in here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. There it is. I only have 12, but it will have to suffice. 4 should be enough. And of course it would be a good idea to teach it to my transmutation table. And if you're wondering about my frame per second loss, well, it's uh, because of all the things I, that are traveling through my logistic pipe. I throw a lot of items into the system and they are going back and forth without pause. See? Some of them even, even fall out. Okay, I'm going to need to say, hey macerator, stop. Yes, you can macerate spider eyes and we get green powder. So, let's do something with an empty cell, some green powder and topping it with uh, redstone, we get wheat eggs. I don't know if this one stacks, so let me try. No, it doesn't. So what's the Widex? What's its uh, its purpose, its use? Hopefully it will be to take care of these pesky uh, bad airs we have in here without having to break everything down. Let's see. Um, seems like it is not Oh well. Thought it might be used for that, but seems like I was wrong. Anyway, let's start uh, planting. So I was I will start with this in here. I will also try and see if the flax seeds can be placed in here. Let me see. Can they? No, they cannot. Sorry, Loram. Seems like, like uh, this is out of the game, of the party. Let's place this in here. And pumpkin seeds on the back. In fact, I'm going to place them in there. Mm, let me get more crops. You see, if you place uh, something in between, it means uh, to try and crossbreed stuff. And you need to be careful when you have empty stuff because, well, there's this small problem of bath, of bath herbs spawning. It is usually better to 
to have this, 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 and this, and to have them growing instead of, uh, well, just waiting to be infected. And I don't know what happens there. I must have uh, stepped inside without realizing. Well, I have stone hole here, so it's no biggie. And it was a pumpkin seed, if I'm not mistaken. No, it was not, but nothing we can do right now. And since I recognize uh, good ideas when I see them, I will do as Star Wolf tends to do and leave a chest nearby. Nearby means not in contact with uh, with there because moths would be able to step using it as some sort of ladder and I'll leave those things in there. So that's the other thing here. The only thing that uh, remains is to wait. In the meantime we can start thinking about uh, our other projects. So while I'd very much like to um, to use simply this uh, teleportation option in here, I believe it is time we start doing something more industrial, more advanced, more haha scientific instead of magic. So I am going to create a teleportation room. Where well I'm not sure but maybe around here expanding from here a little I'm I don't know. Mm, I don't need any more this uh, endless water supply so well well, the, cross the crossbreeding seems to be working quite well. We have some trouble here. That's something we don't want. That's okay in there. Okay, so we only have to crossbreed through two of them. We could now harvest some of the items, but I'm in no hurry. So we shall uh, check other stuff. You can see I grabbed myself some... CF spraying items and I started to produce a uh, different kind of wools keeping some I had and starting others so let me see white black lime uh, purple goes in there Red and blue, seems like they are not... Yep. Green goes in here. Let's place blue in here. This two in here and orange goes in there. Perfect. <coughs> okay, we're going to need to craft some stuff. Uh, this little thing, the crop analyzer. Okay, two copper cable, redstone, glass, an electronic circuit. Oh, and by the way, it is used also in the seed analyzer, which is used in the seed library, so I'm going to craft more than one. And you can see I asked for some introduction torches. That's for my castle project. Uh, but for now, Let's ask for six of these and six glass and a dozen of uh, here. Was that all that we needed? Yeah, mostly. We're also going to need some uh, batteries. There's nothing we can do about that. Oh, and you can see I moved the explored areas books here because I wanted this for the stairs I showed you before. So here I have this project. 
and here I can have this one. Okay, this goes in here, this goes in here. Maybe it was the other way around with these two. Yeah. Yep. Cropnalizer. Now the Cropnalizer is an uh, industrial craft to base uh, design. You can see it requires some power, so I'm going to need uh, an industrial craft battery, which I don't seem to have any on me. So we're going to need to craft it. Not a great deal of trouble since uh, we need them for some stuff. So I should have the um, recipe already in my production system. See? <clears throat> Another thing I am going to, to start doing is uh, spraying. And by the way, when we spray, I suggest going from top to bottom to avoid problems. You can see I already crafted here quite a big system and you can uh, use a slathers, this little thingy. You need to be careful because you might uh, drop Oh, why did this uh, happen? Ah, well. Might have a double tap without uh, realizing it. So you can see the building is fairly quick. You only need to be a little careful not to step into the walls and suffocate to death. Mm, let me grab my rest back and we can recover all the thingies. <clears throat> and yes, I decide this would be uh, a good crafting material for for the for this side of the house because we are going to place some stuff in there. Of course, if I need to remove parts of the wall, it will be a little more hard to replace than using regular items, but, well, that's a small price to pay. It looks cool and it can be painted. I will more, more than likely use black or some dark grey, so it's uh, in line with the other, with the rest of the house. But anyway, we finished with the sprayer. Let me also store it, the interdiction torches in there. Okay, let's get crafted with these things. Give me two more crop analyzers. And here we're going to craft... Uh, okay. Oh, does this work with... No. We place this in here. Oh, we're going to need some some wooden. Sorry, I forgot. You can see my crating system is working nice. Now I'm looking for some. Yes, this shall go. Shall shall work. Yeah. Oh, and if you're thinking about uh, placing rubber wood to get some sticks on your production system. Remember that the system will choose uh, the closer version to the teleporting pipes. So you might end with uh, a lot of, of wooden planks and no way of crafting sticks because you don't have rubber wood. Mm.
and the Cropmatic, by the way, ah, a test to electronic circuits and nothing very complicated. I'm starting to get uh, <laughs> all my project tables full. Oh well, can work with those snowballs later. Uh, chess circuits, electronic circuit in the middle. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Gonna need more electronic circuits now that I think about it. Okay. Oh, and by the way, I just woke up uh, today, went to Star Trek Online, and whoa, new ship. They made a tier 5 Akira, which is uh, somehow something of a carrier, an escort, something really strange. Okay, what is that? Oh, electronic circuits. Yeah. Uh, there, there, there. I didn't test it yet. But uh, from what I heard, it's a pretty powerful. It's a pretty powerful machine. Oh, they stack, nice. And the seasonalizer, advanced circuit. Okay, wanna make only one of those. I'm going to give it a try in the foreseeable future because I really did like the Akira. Uh, but uh, they took um, a strange uh, road with that. I mean, they made it uh, a torpedo boat, a uh, carrier with able to carry one hangar full of um, whatever. And well, oops, night time. It's not that uh, I dislike it, uh, but it's something new, and I feel a little disappointed in how Cryptic keeps uh, popping up new ships. It's everyone a little more powerful than uh, the one before, regardless of their class, so, well, it's a little like, uh, why am I bothering? Spending money or cryptic points, which means deleting farming for this. Anyway, oh look, the house here is pretty nice. I need to place something on top because uh, I wasn't able to reach this point with the uh, with the scaffolding, but uh, that will have to wait. Okay, we have now the seat analyzer the seed library and we're going to need a redstone signal why you might asking well because of reasons but mainly to make the seed analyzer work on automated automatically I'm wondering if I can place it on top better yes I can Seems like you can place chest on top, so it's like yay. Also, uh, the crop matron is um, another thing entirely. It's uh, part of vanilla, and it works uh, keeping things in good state. And the widex, by the way, yes, it does affect uh, those bad herbs growing around, but uh, not in. Uh, Avoiding, but uh, in a prevention. Oh, we got uh, something growing in there. So we now have something growing on every slot. Great. Oh no. Great. Great for me. Mm. And since I broke it, I didn't got anything in return. Yay! Okay, I had a low voltage solar panel, and I know it's a little overkill, but uh, oh well, so sue me. Now this should be should be powered. Yes, it is being powered. See, perfect. 
As for the redstone power, it will make the system work non-stop. So let me see what we can get from here. Thank you, thank you. Of course there is a small thing we need to consider. And that's uh, that sometimes we are not getting anything we can analyze. I'm holding shift while I walk here, by the way. And it seems like I am not uh, being all that uh, fortunate because I'm getting nothing to analyze. Nope. Let me see. Wheat, pumpkin. We didn't even get any melon. Oh well. Sometimes this thing happens. Essentially, we need to look for. <clears throat> Let me see if I can find it. Yeah. Seeds. These ones in here are missing data because, well, they are on NAI, but uh, they are used inside of the crop analyzer the same way we use the, um, the V analyzer. You see, we place here the rechargeable battery, the same way we place there the um, honeycombs for the V analyzer. Here we place the crop, and here we get the analyzed crop. So I'm going to storage this one in there. Another thing I want to show you is the Seed of Darkness, by the way. <coughs> but that will have to wait for the next episode, because uh, we hit the half an hour mark and we even went ahead and, re and exceeded it. If you're wondering what I'm going to do off-screen, well, first I am going to and building this, I'm going to block the ceiling. Next, I am going to my castle location. I will build a, well, the platform you saw is going to be the basement floor. So I need to build um, walls and ceiling. And of course, I need to make a way to go there and to go back and forth. For that matter, I have here a high voltage solar array which is made by 8 medium voltage, 8 low voltage, 8 solar panels so it's a lot of EMC per second and an MFSU and I'm going to craft a teleporting unit in there and in here nothing too fancy, just uh, some industry craft engineering at its finest but uh, that's uh, food for our next episode in the meantime, I can... Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I started the nuclear breeder. It was uh, just a matter of, well, pressing a, a button in the end. It is working. It has not exploded yet. And it should be all okay. So, with all this being said, thanks for watching the episode. And have fun, people. See ya!